Valheim broke a lot of records last year and is one of the most popular survival games of all time on Steam and therefore many people are craving for more content. It's been a few months however since Valheim released its first major update known as Heart and Home. In the meantime small updates have been out but nothing really groundbreaking so that leaves a question what is the future looking like for Valheim? Are the developers still going to keep actively pushing out big updates that all of us Valheim fans should be excited for? Valheim's development cycle has been subject to criticism before, with some people being disappointed in the lack of new content in 2021, and a part of the community also found that the Heart and Home update was kinda underwhelming and brought less to the table than expected. However, there were also counter arguments, and these counter arguments usually consisted out of mentioning the small team behind Valheim in 2021 and that it's still an early access game, so we shouldn't expect too much. The team has however grown in the meantime and we also have some good insight in what the developers themselves have been doing in the last few months while the game is moving towards a full release. And therefore in this video we're going to take a look at everything that is so far known for this year and see if the future is looking bleak or if it's rather looking exciting and hopeful. I'm Nizar GG by the way, I like making Valheim videos, if you just started playing Valheim or you haven't seen my previous videos then definitely check out my Valheim playlist so you know everything you want to know about this game and learn about all kinds of cool things that you can do in the game that you perhaps thought weren't possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content by the way and yeah let's just get right into it. So what has exactly happened till now since Heart and Home? Well let's have a recap for those that have not been following Valheim in the last few months so everyone is up to date. Well we got a few small content updates since Heart and Home. The biggest one was in November with the Swamp Biome. In the game you usually start exploring the swamp somewhere in the mid game and this update introduced these swamp abomination creatures which are like these pretty scary mini bosses that you can fight and if you defeat them they'll drop the new root material which is a material that allows you to make root armor. In terms of stats this new armor set is similar to bronze armor so nothing too crazy but it has a cool effect considering if you wear a full set it will give you a nice bonus to your bow skill. So for all the bow users out there it can be a nice early to mid game option to use this over the bronze armor and it also just looks really cool let's be honest who doesn't want to look like this. It also gives you some resistance to poison while being weak to fire damage. These creatures also drop a new cool trophy by the way, known as the Abomination Trophy. Furthermore, in December we got the Armor Stand feature which makes it now possible to display your armor. It's a neat little feature and definitely something that I've personally seen being requested a lot in the past. The developers also added some seasonal items to the game, for example around the end of October it was possible to build Jack O Turnips that really give that Halloween vibe and more recently with Christmas we got our own version of it in Valheim with the Yule items. These are Christmas trees, hats and gifts and it's a fun way to give your bases and buildings Christmas decorations and in terms of new content that's pretty much it that was added to the game in the last 4 months. Obviously there were also bug fixes here and there and some other minor changes but you can check the patch notes for that to really get into the nitty gritty. So all in all if you didn't play since Heart and Home you didn't miss that much. But that takes me to the next step. What is going to happen in this year in 2022 or just more in general in the future? From all the development updates and news we've gotten so far, it's apparent that the developers are focusing on two things currently. One of them is a smaller update to the mountain biome, which is pretty much known as the mountain cave updates and the release of an entire new biome known as the mistlands. The release date for the mountain caves update is set to be in early 2022, so really it could be anywhere anytime soon. And then the Mistlands update does not have a release date, but it will probably still take a while before it's released, based on some of the things that were said in the development blogs. It seems that most of the focus currently is placed on these mountain caves that will come to the game within the next months. So I would say at least based on previous content updates that it will take another 6 or 7 months before we get the big Mistlands update. At this moment in time we don't know that much about the Mistlands, just that it's taking shape and we did in fact get some sneak peeks with the most recent one giving us a glimpse of how the landscape is going to look and next to that also shows us that it does in fact have a lot of mist. Oh really? What we also know is that it's going to be a new biome in the game, so obviously based on the other biomes in the game that should mean that this update will give new types of enemies and monsters, new terrain, new atmosphere, new loot, new types of armor, new materials and a new boss. Therefore I am convinced that it should really give a completely new experience that will be refreshing for those returning to the game and will add plenty of additional hours of fun to your playtime. 
Regarding the other smaller update, we do have quite some information about it by now. As the name pretty much tells you, the update will introduce caves in the mountain biome. So in other words, it's going to be some additional content in the mid to late game. It's hinted at by the developers that these caves will have new enemies in the form of lupine creatures. So that's definitely pretty cool to know. And with new creatures in the game, that also means new drops. And then we can perhaps use the stuff they drop to make new armor or weapons or yeah, etc, etc. Outside of that, the caves look nice aesthetically. And perhaps they also have some new materials inside of them that you can mine or obtain in some other way that you then can use for your base. All things considered, it's probably not going to be a very big update, but I like the idea of this update. and. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to explore some of these caves while we're waiting for the bigger Mistlands update later this year. Now that brings us to the next segment. Is that all we're getting in 2022? Well, this is pretty much what the developers have been talking and hyping us about in all the development blogs since Heart and Home. But I think the developers will have more in store for us for 2022. Because if the Mistlands is really released around the summer, then there's still about 6 months of the year left for more content. And that brings me to my next point. Do you remember the roadmap that was cancelled earlier this year that was meant for 2021? It was pretty ambitious and it got cancelled for like most of it except for the Heart and Home update which we did in fact get in 2021. Next to Heart and Home the roadmap mentioned three more key updates. The Cold of the Wolf update, the Ships and the Sea update and the Mistlands biome. Well obviously Mistlands is going to be the big one this year but what about the other two? Cold of the Wolf and the Ships and the Sea update. Well, we don't really have any information about them outside of their initial mention on the roadmap. And I personally think the Cold of the Wolf update just probably refers to the Mountain Caves update because it really gives it those vibes if you consider the lupine inhabitants that the developers talked about and just the whole aesthetic that they're going for with this update. And really when you look at the sneak peeks, there is a major clue that this is in fact the Cold of the Wolf update. Just look at this. A rune with a wolf being in a central position and seemingly being praised by humans or some other type of creatures. And then there's also this, more similar cult-esque scribblings on the other rune. And realistically, what else could this be than a cult known as the Cult of the Wolf? It really gives off that cult vibe and that's why I'm pretty confident that this is in fact the Cult of the Wolf update that is mentioned on the roadmap. Now the other update, Ships and the Sea, I have no idea what it could refer to and it hasn't been mentioned anywhere. We haven't really seen any new ships or sneak peeks or references to new content in regards to the seas and the ocean biome in Valheim. So maybe that's just a question mark for now and probably something that the developers will start working on after the Mistlands update. In line with that, a developer did confirm actually that work on the ocean biome will start after the Mistlands is updated. So maybe this is what the ships and the sea update will refer to. Or it could just be a very small update that will be released before the Mistlands and therefore it hasn't been mentioned yet considering that it is in fact mentioned before the Mistlands on the roadmap. I personally think it's either one of those two options. Those that like sailing and just the whole naval experience in the game definitely have something to look forward for with that update. Furthermore, the roadmap mentions some other specific stuff below all the big updates. Some of them we already got actually. For example, we got tar pits in the Heart and Home update and combat was also changed in various aspects. I covered a lot of that actually and a lot of the hidden changes of Heart and Home in a previous video. Check that one out if you haven't yet. The changes were actually bigger than you might have thought and it led to interesting discussions in the comments section. The rest is probably just stuff that we will get in future updates like Munin, simply a new Raven NPC and Moonface's sound interesting and when I hear Moonface I'm thinking about the Cult of the Wolf update and maybe it is in fact something that we will get with this update and it may or may not lead to the introduction of werewolf transformations. I'm just speculating here of course but when you think about a cult centered around wolves, werewolf transformations would not be that out of line and let's be honest it would be pretty cool. Then you also have a new type of mob that will probably be introduced anytime this year, the Svar. I don't know how to say this, I'm going to butcher it, but it's something like the Svartal for Brigands. And information about the developer's plans with this is again very sparse here, but the name refers to Dark Elves, and who knows where or how they will be introduced. Perhaps they will be a creature found in the Mistlands, we don't know anything yet about the types of mobs that will be in the Mistlands, so perhaps we will find Dark Elves there. According to the Norse lore though, they do have their own lands known as Svartalheim, which might mean that this contradicts the idea of these creatures being found in the Mistlands. Who really knows though? Everything is possible and Valheim at the end of the day has its own lore of course. Lastly, the two currently unfinished biomes that are already in the game, the Ashlands and the Deep North are also briefly mentioned, not in any of the development blocks but in the most recent AMA. 
Not much is said about when they are planned to be released, but they do confirm that they will start working on these biomes after the Mistlands. So that could potentially mean that the finished version of these biomes will be released somewhere in late 2022 or maybe just in 2023. In the AMA there's also other mentions of other items and plans, but most of it still seems to be a concept or stuff that is mostly being brainstormed about. So it's probably just best to not speculate too much and just go off the development blocks and specific plans that were released by the developers to gauge what the future will look like. All in all, I do think there's a lot of stuff on the table and it shows us what we realistically can expect in 2022 and the future and it definitely seems like we will get some exciting stuff. In my opinion, I do think the future of Valheim is looking good on paper, but it's also important that it keeps a momentum going and with that release content consistently. In the end, it's really just a matter of waiting until all of this comes out so we can actually judge for ourselves if the content is good or not. And I'm definitely excited to try all of it out. I'm also really curious to hearing your thoughts, by the way. Leave them in the comments. What do you think the future of Valheim holds? And what do you think of the stuff mentioned in the cancelled roadmap? And what could it possibly refer to? And do you think the new content that we will get is going to be any good? Put it all down in the comments and if you liked the video then give it a like and definitely subscribe. That will help out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!